Hello, honey. I know, I'm sorry I'm late, but... Senor Miller? Hey, how are you, David? Soy Pedro Martinez. Hola, Martinez. Como esta? I thought it was my wife. What can I do for you, Pedro? David, since five years now, we always did the good business together, right? But now, I have a little problema. About the last shipment, I know. Three boxes were damaged, I know. But I'm taking care of everything. There's nothing to worry about. We'll settle it between us. No, 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 no eso. I know you always take care of that. No, this time it's more uh, urgent and, well, confidential. Well, you know me, Pedro. I wouldn't tell a soul. It's about uh, my brother Carlos. We're gonna have a lot of problems if you don't take care of him. Uh-oh, what's going on? Well, I don't know what to say, but uh, could you imagine that uh, Carlos talked with uh, another trader for something big? Really? Well, Pedro, it's a free market. I guess that's what the global economy is all about. It's for heavy equipment? Uh, not exactly. You know my brother Carlos supervises the construction site in Valparaiso. You know, a new hotel uh, next to the ocean. So, of course, uh, we are partners in building the new uh, highway. We desperately need 400 cement wheelbarrows. Primero, y segundo, if the price is bueno, probably another 200 in the little future. You want wheelbarrows? Well, it's not really my thing, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'll look into it. <laughs> Fantastico. I knew I could have a confidence in you, David, but please, not a word to Carlos, okay? Is it urgent? <laughs> it's more than urgent. I need them as soon as possible to start the work. Don't worry, Pedro. I'm sure I'll find exactly what you need. It doesn't take us Canadians too long to put our skates on. We need a very solid uh, steel wheelbarrows, you know, with uh, wooden handles and uh, a capacity of uh, 100 liters. The ones we can get uh, are one and a half millimeter thick, you know. So. If I translate correctly, that's four cubic feet. And about the caliber, I'll find out what the norms are. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll look around and uh, call you back. My brother Carlos uh, already has spoken to some people in Darmac. They are smart businessmen, but uh, nobody knows them. Uh, we don't even know where the wheelbarrows come from, but the price is very low. ¿Cuál es el precio? I heard around, más o menos, 35 US dollars uh, for each wheelbarrow. Uh, paid by a letter of credit uh, on site, but uh, the delivery is very long. Well, I'm sure I can do something better in terms of delivery and credit. For the price, uh, I'll call you back as soon as possible. Muy bien, señor Miller. I trusted the merchandise from Canada. It's such a nice country. Uh, you know my cousin, Juan Ramirez. He sells used cars in Calgary. Yes, on 2nd Street. Yeah, of course I know him. I met your whole family once. David, I care a lot about our partnership. And so do I, Pedro. Don't worry. Thanks to our partnership, you optimize your sales and I continue to develop new markets. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. You know, David, in Chile we say that a business is like a matrimony. Uh, one has to choose his partner well to be able to grow together, right? Don't lose sleep over this, okay? Don't worry, I'll call you back. <laughs> Thank you, David. Adios. Could you please look into the Strategis database and find someone who produces wheelbarrows? Yes, it's urgent. Uh, don't look at U.S. manufacturers. Around here, we shop Canadian first. Oh, by the way, did you see the game last night? Uh, please find the best producer who can deliver quickly at the best possible price. You can also call the usual government services. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Uh, something else. Could you put me through to Mr. Martinez? Thanks, I'll wait. What's your name again? Miller. From what company? 
MRT International. No, never heard of it. Listen, I just came back from a vacation in the Bahamas, and Chile really doesn't interest me. <laughs> no, no, Mrs. O'Toole. I don't want to sell you a trip to Chile. I want to buy wheelbarrows from you. Oh, wheelbarrows. That's a good thing, because that's what we make. So then, what would be your price for 600 wheelbarrows heading for Chile? The same price we ask everybody, $90. I'm really wondering how you calculate your prices for exports. That's our suggested retail price. You can ship the wheelbarrows anywhere you want. Chile, Japan, I don't care. That's your problem, not ours. Mrs. O'Toole, my problem is also your problem. At that price, I'll start my own business. Give me at least your ex-works price after discounts to distributors or retailers. I don't even know you and you're asking me for a discount. Listen, I can do something for you. You can call our main distributor in Montreal, discuss it with them. They might give you a better price. Well, can I at least get in touch with your export manager? Sorry, we don't have that in stock. <laughs> so who can I talk to then? I'm the export manager, and I supervise all the export sales. Maine, Texas, Idaho, anyway with the states, we have enough business. No offense, Mrs. O'Toole, but that's not really considered international export. <sighs> Thanks for the compliment. Mrs. O'Toole, can I meet you? I'd like to talk of a potential collaboration with Chile. Forget it, Mr. Miller. We're in the middle of our year end, and we're up to here. Call Taiwan if you want to save money. <laughs> I believe I agreed to meet with you here. Well, I'm very happy to be sitting with you finally. It wasn't easy to find a wheelbarrow manufacturer, you know. We looked through all our databases. Nope, it's not easy to find something that you're looking for. For instance, if you want to buy local tomatoes, sometimes you have to call Del Monte in California to find the guy next door. Well, here I am. You have one hour to convince me. The art of negotiating, that's my specialty. You'll see when we strike a deal with Chile. Not so fast, Mr. Miller. First, do you have any references? Well, did you know about the new airport in Santiago, Chile? I've uh, supplied most of the construction materials. I've been covering the region for almost 10 years now. I see. So you know your market pretty well. Let's just start. But where do we go from here? To Chile, Mrs. O'Toole, if you let things happen. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. O'Toole. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, si. Si, Pedro. Yes, things are progressing. Yeah, I found someone who's very interested in your order. A high-performance manufacturer. Muy bien, Pedro. Muchas gracias. So, tell me. What is your price? My price? Oh, I can't give you a definite price. I'm in a meeting right now. And that's it. I'll call you back, okay? Ciao. That was our buyer. He sends his regards. Your buyer, Mr. Miller. The game's not over yet. Speaking of which, did you see the game last night? Oh, excellent. I love hockey. Well, I think we should get along pretty well, Mrs. O'Toole. Even though your price is higher than mine, I'm sure we'll come to an agreement. You're someone who knows what she wants. And especially what she doesn't want. Mr. Miller, let's be realistic. I know my business well enough to know I can't sell my wheelbarrows underneath the domestic price. <laughs> Those prices, those European prices you quoted me, they're ridiculous. I don't know what you think we are, a branch of Salvation Army or something, but I run an assembly line, not a charity. We'll talk about your price later on, Mrs. O'Toole, but I must tell you that your suggested retail price includes, among other things, the sales commission and all the margins to uh, retailers and distributors. When you look at the base price of a wheelbarrow based on variable costs, you'd be surprised of all the room you have to maneuver. Let's say we remove the 40% discount we give to retailers and distributors. Mm -hmm. So after discounts, it gives me $54 Canadian. Well, at that price, your wheelbarrows have air conditioning, right? 
don't forget this. In the calculation of your price, you must take world prices into account, not just your production costs. Well, maybe we could give you a small discount, let's say 2% for a cash payment. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. O'Toole. <laughs> Business is going well. With international trade, you're always on the go. And if you're well informed, you can stay ahead of the game. Hello? Pedro, que pasa? Denmark confirmed its price. And you want the same price from us before ordering. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's look at it. Yeah, I'll need more details if I'm going to start comparing. Yeah, what comes with the price? Spare parts? Credit? I mean, is it covering the insurance? That's it. Call me back. Ciao, ragazzo. You speak Italian, too. Well, you have to adapt. That's what traders are all about. Mrs. O'Toole, I know that Chile is not part of your traditional market, but it could be a breakthrough. Your company is in good financial shape. I think it would be good to start thinking of a diversification strategy, uh, opening to new markets. <laughs> First, you want me to sell my wheelbarrows at half price. Next, you want me to spray the wooden handles with some kind of raid against termites. And finally, you want me to change my strategy? I have a little problem with your beautiful project, Mr. Miller. I don't know those people. I don't speak their language. <laughs> I don't even know if they're solvent. Okay, Elizabeth. Uh, do you mind if I call you Elizabeth? Okay. Let's take it all from the beginning. You'll be dealing with me, not them. I am responsible for all the risks. I will pay you just as if it was a local sale. I don't want to declare bankruptcy this year. Do I look bankrupt to you? After this transaction, we will be talking about partnership. We can even start talking about developing new markets in other countries. You know, some people are big talkers. You're not one of them, are you? When it's time to sign a contract, you can trust us trainers. You can call our association. They'll fill you in on our company. We're knowledgeable traders, and we're there to serve your best interests. That's what trading houses are all about. No joke. And they've got money to pay you, your uh, speedy Gonzalez guys? Martinez, Mrs. O'Toole. Martinez with an M, like in money. Actually, the Martinez brothers have millions. What do you want me to do with your million pesos? I want to be paid in Canadian dollars, cash on delivery. Anyways, forget the whole thing. It's too risky. No, 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 no. I'm the one who pays. It's the name of the game. As a trader, I'm responsible for all risks. All the risks? All of them. If I sign, everything has to be above board. No problem. You know you're going to have a problem getting me below $54. This kind of negotiation... Partnership, Mrs. O'Toole. Partnership. In any case, I don't want to have anything to do with the translation of the service manual. I've told you we'll share the cost. And I don't want to have any problem. I don't want to deal at all with customs or transport. I'll take care of everything. Payment, transport, and export documents. Everything. Everything. All you have to do is sign the agreement and get your plant rolling. And I won't have any problems. Trader's word. Pedro, I've got great news. The factory I found is much more efficient than the one in Denmark. Three weeks to produce 600 wheelbarrows, guaranteed. Mrs. O'Toole is a very reliable person. A, a Mrs. O'Toole? A woman? In the steel business? Is that common in Canada? She's been in the business for over 20 years. She's the best in her field in all Canada. Bueno, I like winners. Eh, uh, ask her senora if she likes a football. Eh, uh, I mean a soccer. Pedro, her sport is hockey. Back to the ranch. Ranch? What ranch? I want the wheelbarrows, remember? Ranch, wheelbarrows, it's all the same. So, to which port do I ship? Tranquilo, wait a minute. Give me the price first. When I calculate my export costs, it comes to about 50 US each. 
Fifty dollars US? Ay, coño, we can't possibly pay more than with Denmark. Listen, Pedro, there's more to this than just the price. I've got some information for you. Our caliber 17 is much better than Denmark's one and a half millimeter. The cement alone will make their wheelbarrows collapse. Collapse? Me entiendes, Pedro. Las caratillas van a romper, caput. Are you sure of that? I'm positive, and that's not all. Denmark's metal handles are going to bend. Ours are made out of wood, and I'll have them treated. What do you think about that? I know my brother Carlos. He won't go at $50 US. Que lastima. I don't think it's going to work, David. Wait, I'm not finished. You said you needed 400 as soon as possible and 200 in about three months. Exactly. What if I ship them all together? What would that change? Well, in one shipment you save in transport and I get a better price. Come on, give me a price. In English and Spanish, no sé qué, but give me a price. Okay, I'm going to negotiate with the manufacturer on the basis of 3850 US delivered to the Chilean port of your choice. I'm going to do my best to confirm that price to you as soon as possible, if that's okay with you. And there's more. I'm giving you four months to pay. No letter of credit, just a draft, payable, 120 days from shipment. I mean, you can't beat that. 3850 US. 3850 US? Caramba! You're getting very close to the price we want to pay. But uh, about the service manual, I want it in Spanish, eh? Not in English. Well, non es un problema. Spanish or English, it's the same price. Okay. I have to pay for the translation? No, no, no. It's just another way of saying that for you, it's included. Okay. You know these expressions in English, I don't know, you know? Don't worry. We'll all be speaking the same language. Okay? Ciao. <sighs> Good work, my man. I stick handle that one pretty good. Now I don't have the choice, I'll have to cut my profit by 2%. But I'm not too, too worried. Even if they try to pass the buck to me, I'll offer Mrs. O'Toole $40 Canadian and I'll let her do her homework. $40 Canadian, Mr. Miller, are you out of your mind? The puck is in your end zone, Elizabeth. You have to recalculate your price according to marginal costs. And I'll need some replacement parts. Let's say uh, three dozen wheels and a couple of dozen handles. You're not expecting me to pay for that. Listen, this kind of after-sale service is normal. It's part of the guarantee. I suppose you want a paint job with that, with the Martinez logo on the side of each wheelbarrow? You must have extra parts that won't add to the cost. Trust me, there's something in it for everybody. Yeah, probably. We'll see. But $50, that's my last price. Just remember that we can buy cheaper wheelbarrows in the United States. You're not going to pull that on me now, are you? Well, we're talking major league here. Competition is tough. You want to talk it over with your accountant? That's a good idea. At $40, I'll bet you a bottle of champagne that I can confirm the order today. Two bottles of champagne. Atlanta, John. Perfect for golf. Oh, no time for games now. Business first. Maybe your Miller guy will give us a break. Where are we at in the negotiation with Chile? Oh, it's moving, it's moving. But you know, that Miller guy, I know he can pay more than $40. And he knows I know it, too. It's just another of his strategies to get us to lower our price. After our last chat, I had a chat with the uh, accountant. Now we're like this. We can talk one-on-one. -on -one. So you're going to lower your price? Yeah, we're gonna win anyways. It's the first time that we'll export somewhere besides the States. Hopefully, this association with Miller will bring other opportunities. So what's the real cost after your recalculations? Listen to this, the unit production cost is $27.50. If I include our sales costs, that's another 450 
administrative overhead, 850, and our profit margin, it's another 1350, I get $54. And how about Miller? Didn't he tell you before that we had room to maneuver? Where is it? Be careful now. $54 net, that's our asking price for the local market, if you get my meaning. I think I get it. We're also in the middle of the low season. What would be the total if we just calculated the unit production cost plus our normal profit margin? Amazing. If I do that, I get $41. Perfect. It gives us a bit of room. At $41, we're still in the game. I think that Miller is not a shark after all. That's no reason to swallow the bait, John. Don't be naive. I'm not offering my wheelbarrows under $40, and that's it. No way. Business first, trust second. Listen, Liz, I think we need to water down our wine. <gasps> oh, you know I like a full-bodied Cabernet Sauvignon. But we have to realize a little extra profit. What do you think? $42. Is that what you had in mind? Precisely. $42, and that's it. We'll see how that Miller plays the game. I adore this international trade. It's almost as exciting as golf. What, he's not in? Has he gone to Chile? That's impossible. I have to talk to him now. Surprise! Here I am. Uh, Got a little something for you. Oh, I thought you were signing the deal in Chile. I got scared. <laughs> You're watching too much TV. I'm not a crook out of a B movie. So, ready for the final sprint? Ready to roll. Great. Have you worked out your price? I can't go under $42. But at $42, I'm still too tight. <laughs> I'm not making any money then at that price. Well, if you lose that much, I guess you won't be on the green too often. Listen, Elizabeth, think about our future transactions. With between my $40 and your $42, I'm sure we can come to terms. Let's meet halfway. I pay $41 and I take care of the client. $41, okay. But let's not waste time. If you want your wheelbarrows in two weeks, we've got to start production now. Go ahead, call your Mr. Martinez. You're absolutely right. You won't regret a thing, Elizabeth. But it's gonna take a purchase order and a 10% deposit. I'll send you the order, but for the deposit, I need an invoice. I'm faxing it in right away. Great. Perfect, to our new partnership. I see you're already developing a taste for international trade. I never thought I'd go this far in wheelbarrows. Pedro, I have excellent news. I finally got the price you were willing to pay, $38.50 US. Fantastico. I knew you were going to make it, David. Thank you very much. A hey, good work. Bravo. I'm calling the forwarding agent and I'm reserving a container. Roll the cement, Pedro. The wheelbarrows are coming. Thank <laughs> you. 